Have you ever been outside of something? You ever wanted a ticket and it was sold out? Ever wanted to go to that movie on opening night, but you couldn't get there? Ever want to go to that Texans game, that Astro game, that Super Bowl, that World Series, that concert, whatever it is, and you were on the outside and you wanted to be on the inside and you just couldn't get in there? I remember we went to Africa um, one time uh, as a family. In Africa, I want you to know, you should put it on your bucket list. It is gorgeous. Beautiful, amazing, amazing place. Great people, just incredible. So we went all over Africa working with some different mission stuff that our church um, supports. And so we were in Zambia and Zimbabwe, which is way down south. And then we were heading back. We'd already been to Kenya in that area, but we were heading back to Kenya to then head home to Houston. So it was gonna be a long day of travel, okay, to go from Zimbabwe to Houston via Kenya. So, and then we had to stop somewhere in Europe, I think too. So on it went like that. But we got in the plane, got ready to go. We landed in Kenya. We got there and man, it was so awesome to be in Africa, but it was good to be going home too. And we got to this like little customs section and we got right there. And I mean, the people are so nice in Africa, except this lady right here. <laughs> and I could see our bags and she wouldn't let me go past to get our bags to get on the next flight because somehow the form that we had had either expired or we bought a day too short or something like that, but we're standing there. And so I'm like, but we got, but we're, we're just traveling. We're going to, you know, all this stuff. She wouldn't let us through the gate. And then I could feel the tension as my family said, dad, quit, dad, quit. Of all the people behind me, like that are tired of me having a long conversation because they're just trying to get through. It's kind of like when you're in the line at the bank in the drive-thru and somebody's doing banking for like a small country and all you've got to do <laughs> is get one check deposited. And you're like, come on. And you're seeing the thing come back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. That's what's kind of happening. So I get out of line and I'm thinking through my strategy of what I'm going to do. So I go and I talk to, to this police officer. I said, yeah, my badge are right there. I can see, see that right there. there. And he's like, nope, nope, get back in line. So I get back in line. So finally I get back in line and I basically had to buy a new pass or whatever it was. And so I had to pull out the wallet and spend the money to buy the new pass to use for about 15 seconds to then get the bags and go to the next terminal to get on the plane to go to Houston. So great people all over Africa, wonderful place. And she was just doing her job, so I'm just having a little bit of fun. But to be able to get through, I had to pay a price. Let me tell you what, Jesus Christ paid the price for you. He's not standing at the gate wanting to keep you out, actually. He's standing at the gate saying, I've already paid it, come on in. Not for a 15 second pass through through heaven, but for all of eternity. You can be on the inside, the inside. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.